This deep water workout was designed with exercises from AEA's Arthritis Foundation Aquatic Program. It can be done at a lower intensity as an arthritis program, or you could perform the moves more vigorously as moderate aerobic activity. Either way, the end result is a zero impact total body joint tune-up. Intuitive fitness is all about listening to your body and choosing an exercise activity that matches the way that you feel that day. Some days it might be high intensity, other days not so much. This joint mobility workout is perfect for those days when you want less intensity and more flexibility. Set to classical music, Deep Revive will leave you feeling more limbered, energized, and rejuvenated. Maintaining joint flexibility will help you move better, feel better, and live better. Welcome to Deep Revive. This is a deep water workout and that means that a flotation belt is required. This workout is based on exercises from the Arthritis Foundation Aquatic Program. The movements can be performed more gently for joint flexibility and mobility or you can add more vigor and take this up to the level of an aerobic workout. Either way, your body will thank you for this luxurious, limbering, feel-good fitness performance in the deep end. Let's get started with simple jogging. This is your first warm up move. I'm again for this workout pulling my moves from the Arthritis Foundation manual, including the deep water segment. This is simple jogging. Next, we take it to a wide jog. You just open up your hips in that jog. And then our next move will go into a recumbent bicycle. You'll just sit back a little bit. Pretend that your feet are pedaling on a recumbent bicycle. This is our lower body warm up. We're starting with lower body moves first. So let your arms move organically. Next, we'll go into a sideline cycle movement. Again, skull, whatever you have to do with your arms. You're just in a slight tilt position performing a side-lying bicycle. And then we'll come down and go to the other direction with that side-lying bicycle. Getting that lower body prepared for the workout to come. And then we'll take it down to a vertical flutter kick, just little flutters of your lower leg. a flutter kick. Next, we're going to make the movement big with a cross-country ski. Pretending you're on the ski slopes. Those poles are in your hand doing a cross-country ski. Our last lower body move is jacks. You're doing simulating a jumping jack type movement in deep water. Legs out and in. Now get ready, we're gonna be moving on to treading with the lower body and upper body movements. We're doing a breaststroke. Your legs are now moving organically in a little treading egg beater move. You're doing a big palms down breaststroke, really trying to retract that scapula. Now you keep treading water and take it to side arm circles. Your arms are moving in a circular direction here while you're treading water. And then you gotta reverse that direction. We'll continue treading and move from the elbow with the chop. You got a little diagonal type arm curl motion going on. We call this the chop. Preparing that elbow joint for the workout. We're gonna finish with some wrist bends, some mobility at the wrist while you're continuing to tread water. These are side wrist bends. And that concludes our warm up. Before we get into our deep revive choreography, I just want to stress the most important aspect of this workout. It was meant to be done intuitively. And that means it is great for those days you want a gentler fitness experience, but you can also put more intensity into the movement. 
That choice is yours. Let your body decide for you. Okay, I am excited for you. You are gonna feel so good after this workout. Start doing a light jog with a right lead. Our first move will be a wide jog with a left arm sweep. So you're doing a wide jog, right lead, and your left arm is sweeping across to your right. Your right arm is just hanging out by your body and you're sweeping that left arm across with a side arm sweep. Now get ready to move your right leg. Your right leg does a hip turn out. Knee up, external rotation, in all the way down. Knee up, external rotation, in. That's your right leg only. You've got that toe pointed for a little bit of performance on that supporting left leg. Now we go into a wide jog, left lead, and your right arm is performing a side arm sweep. You're doing a wide jog. That right arm is sweeping across like it pulls a string out of that left palm as it comes back. And now left hip turn out, up, out, in, and vertical. Knee up, external rotation, in and down. Little bit of performance, your toes are pointed here. Now next move, wooden soldier, right lead. We're moving into a wooden soldier with a thumbs to shoulder. Take a look at the elbow joint. You've got movement at the elbow joint. Your thumb is moving towards the shoulder. We're performing what we call a wooden soldier here. Now your right leg only, it goes extends up, in, out, all the way down. You lift a straight leg up, bend in, extend out, straight leg down. Straight leg up, bend in, out. We call this a knee swing, a modified knee swing. Now wooden soldier, left lead, left, right. You're moving that thumb to shoulder move in opposition to the leg. Thumbs to shoulder while you perform the wooden soldier. Get ready for the knee swing on the left. Okay, left leg, straight leg lift, bend, extend, straight leg down. Straight leg up, bend, extend, straight leg down. This is your knee swing. Now get ready, we're gonna add those two combinations together. Wide straddle jog, right lead. You pull that left arm across, side arm sweep. You're pulling a string out of your right palm and drawing it across in that wide straddle jog with that side arm sweep. Get ready for the right leg only. Right leg hip turn out, knee up, out, in and down. Full performance here with those pointed toes. Your arms move organically with these more advanced leg patterns. You can do whatever you want with them. Okay, wide straddle jog, left lead. That right arm is the one pulling across now. Keep your left arm just extended out to your side and pull that string out of that left palm. Nice. Get ready. Left leg, hip turn out, up, out, in, back to vertical, knee up, external rotation, in, back to vertical, lots of mobility on the hip. This is a great hip opener. Get ready for your wooden soldier with a right lead. Wooden soldier, right lead. Nice, it's the march of the wooden soldier here. Straight leg, wooden soldier legs, thumbs to shoulder for the upper body. We got hip joint moving, we got elbow joint moving. Get ready for your right leg, knee swing. Right leg, it's a straight leg lift, bend, extend, straight leg down. Again, straight leg lift, bend, extend. We're staying on that right leg, two more. You got one more, arms moving organically with this. Now wooden soldier, left lead, nice. You've got that wooden soldier, Perfect. Again, you have to exercise intuitively here. You can make this a bigger kick if you wanted to put more vigor in. That's up to you. Okay, left leg knee swing, straight leg lift, bend, extend, straight leg down. Once again, let your arms just move organically with this. I don't like to assign an arm pattern when we've got a complicated leg pattern. Nice, get ready. Okay, we're gonna do our first 30 second joint interlude. It's for the cervical spine, side neck bend. Side neck bend, come center and pause. Side neck bend the other way. Your legs are treading water with an egg beater or whatever move you want. Now we're gonna perform a head turn. We're gonna be doing these 30 second joint interludes to make sure we hit all the joints in the body. You're performing a head turn. Now get ready to go to your third combination. 
recumbent bike right lead you're pedaling your recumbent bike look at the handles oh my goodness they're moving in a circle you're performing front shoulder circles as you do that recumbent bike now switch the circle in the other direction riding your recumbent bike nice now you're performing a butterfly your hips are externally rotating this is like a clamshell you've got a shoulder rotator and you've got a hip rotator butterfly those knees ex ro rotate out good now recumbent bike left lead you're riding your recumbent bike your handles those weird handles that move in a circle now turn the circle the other way on those handles as you're riding your recumbent bike get ready to become a clamshell again Let's do the butterfly shoulder rotator with hip external rotation. Your legs are formed into a diamond. This is actually from the land uh, arthritis program when you're sitting in a chair, but we can modify sitting in a chair in water. Okay, from the top, wide straddle jog. That left arm pulls across with that side arm sweep. You can do it gently. You can do it vigorously. Whatever you feel like today, that's what you do. Yeah, ready for your hip turn out on the right. Okay, hip turn out on the right. Knee up, external, in, all the way down. Knee up, external, in, all the way down. Two more, your arms just move organically with this. Wide straddle jog, left lead. Nice, that right arm is pulling across. You're playing some kind of instrument, pulling a string out of your left palm as you draw that arm back. Very nice. Now we got that hip turn out on the left. Out, in, and down. Knee up, out, in, and down. Two more hip turnouts, and then we got to go back to the march of the wooden soldier with a right lead. Wooden soldier right lead performing thumbs to shoulder as you do your nice march. There, wooden soldier thumbs to shoulder. Very nice. Hip mobility, elbow mobility. Get ready for your right leg knee swing. Right leg only, straight leg up, bend, extend, straight leg down. Really think about using that hip joint, that knee joint, particularly as you pull down. Use your gluteal to perform that hip extension. One more. Wooden soldier left lead. Performing that wooden soldier once again, you can take this to a little bit bigger water kick if you want to put more effort into it, but keep that mobility also going at the elbow with your thumbs to shoulder. Knee swing on the left, straight leg. Bend, extend, pull down. Lift up, bend, extend, pull down. Nice, great hip mobility here for both the hip and the knee joint. Get ready to get on your recumbent bike. Right lead recumbent bike, pedaling with those weird handles that move in circles. Getting that great mobility at the shoulder. Now reverse those handles to get that mobility, that front circle in a different direction and get ready to be a clamshell. It's the butterfly, shoulder rotator with hip external rotation in that diamond position on the lower body. Oh yes, full performance here. A recumbent bike left lead with those circular handles, front arm circles, lots of mobility in the shoulder. That feels good. I love this exercise. Now reverse those handles, circle the other way and get ready to become a butterfly. You're a butterfly. There you go. Nice. And you are free to fly. Shoulder rotator, hip external rotation. Okay, get ready for your next 30 second joint interlude. This time it'll be for the shoulder. You're treading water, performing side arm lifts, moving from the side, flapping like a little bird wing here as you lift your arms up to the side while you're treading water with an egg beater. Our next shoulder move will be a diagonal arm reach. Crisscross those arms in front of you for maximal range of motion. Switch your top arm each time. That's a diagonal arm reach variation A. Now get ready for your fourth combination. We're performing jack circles. You're doing a jack, but you're moving your legs in a circular direction. Make circles on the pool floor. Now reverse the circles and go the other way. Think of making a big circle on the pool floor with that. And now little flutter kicks up to the right. Little flutters up. 
and then little flutter kicks back to vertical. And then we'll take the flutter kicks over to the left. And then little flutter kicks back. Get ready for your jack circles again. Jack circles, you're making circles. This is like a, I don't know, a helica helicopter sort of. You're making jack circles on the pool floor. And then you gotta go the other way. We do four one way and then four the other way. And then we take those flutter kicks up to the left. Very nice little flutter kicks. Flutter kicks back to vertical. A little performance here. Flutter kicks up to the right. A little sculling to get you up there. And then back to vertical. And oh no, get ready. Back to move number one. Wide straddle jogs with that left arm sweep. This is your midterm exam here. You've got that left arm pulling across in that wide straddle jog. You're enjoying this. This feels so good. And now right leg hip turn out. Knee up. Out, in, and down. Up, out. Those arms just move organically. However, it feels good to move them. Okay, wide straddle jog. Left lead, that right arm performs that side arm sweep as it comes over, pulls that string out. You can do it vigorously or you can just do it with performance and flair. Get ready for your hip turn out on the left. Okay, left leg hip turn out. Knee up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in. Two more hip turnouts, and then it's time for the March of the Wooden Soldier. It'll be the right lead first. March, Wooden Soldier, right lead, right, left. You're performing that shoulder thumb touch, or thumbs to shoulders at the elbow joint here as you march your Wooden Soldier. Get ready for your knee swing on the right leg only. Right leg only, straight leg up, bend, extend, pull all the way down. Modified knee swing from the arthritis program here. Lots of mobility at the hip, at the knee. One more and then it's our wooden soldier left lead. Wooden soldier left lead, let's go. Thumbs to shoulder, marching yourself along here. Get ready for your left leg only knee swing. Left leg only, straight leg up, bend, extend, pull down with that gluteus. Up, bend, extend, and down. Well, you're excited because you're getting ready to get on your recumbent bike. Right lead recumbent bike with those weird handles that move in circles. Front shoulder circles and recumbent bike. Switch those circles the other way and get ready to become a butterfly. Okay, that butterfly movement, shoulder rotator with hip external rotation, making like a clamshell here. A performing clamshell. Okay, get ready to get back on your recumbent bike with a left lead. Left lead recumbent, pedaling with those circular handles, front shoulder circles, lots of nice mobility in the shoulder. Now switch the circle in the other direction and get ready to fly like a butterfly. You're a butterfly. Shoulder rotator, hip external rotation. Now, a couple more, and then we do those jack circles. You're drawing circles on the pool floor. Get ready for that. Now, jack circles. Make circles on the pool floor. You can go big, you can go little. And then you gotta reverse the direction four in the other way. These are kinda hard. Okay, flutter kicks up to the right. Little flutters moving up to the right. And then little flutters back to vertical. A little performance never hurt anybody. Flutters up to the left. And then flutters back. Okay, we're doing those jack circles again. And then reverse it. And then flutters up to the left. Nice. Back to vertical. Flutters up to the right. Back to vertical. 
Nice, and that concludes Act 1. You have been moving for nearly 20 minutes. Feel free to grab a drink. We will be starting the next segment with one of those 30-second joint interludes, this time for the elbow joint. Stay tuned. And the curtain opens on Act 2. Get ready for more feel-good movement and healthy joint performance. We will begin with treading water so that we can isolate movement at the elbow joint. We begin with an elbow bend and turn. You're bringing from the elbow joint your palms up and then your palms down as you're just doing a little egg beater type movement to keep yourself upright. Keep your legs moving organically while you do this elbow bend and turn. And then it's a door opener. You're like grabbing hold of a doorknob and you're opening a door. You can do it quickly, you can do it slowly, whichever feels good to you. Now get ready, we're gonna be moving into another combination of movement with a jack. Cross, jack, together. Jack, cross, jack. Switch your top leg each time. Jack, cross, jack, together. Jack, cross, now your right leg only performs a crossover like you're stepping over your left leg. In the Arthritis Foundation, we would just swing that leg across in deep water. That would be too hard. You really got to put some propulsion into this. So it's like a little step across. Now get ready to go back to your jack cross. Your jack cross. Jack, cross, jack, together. Jack, cross, jack, together. Very nice. Good. Now that left leg crosses, cross it. Cross over the right, little thrusting move here. Step across, four more, and then we go into a grand performance from the top. Okay, straddle jog, right lead, that left arm pulls across with that side arm sweep. You know these moves now. Now you gotta put on full performance here. Right leg hip turn out, knee up, out, in those toes pointed for performance. Very nice. Two more arms just kind of moving whatever way you want them to. Wide straddle jog, left lead, right arm pulls across towards your left, pulls that string out of the left palm and pulls it back, playing an instrument here. Four more, and then it's your hip turn out on the left. Hip turn out on the left, out, in, very nice, up, out, in, excellent. One more. Wooden soldier right lead, marching our wooden soldier through this workout, performing thumbs to shoulder for the elbow mobility. Get ready for that knee swing on the right leg only. Right leg only, extend, bend, out, straight leg down. Straight leg up, bend, extend, straight leg down. One more and then it's our wooden soldier left lead. Wooden soldier left lead, we're marching, moving. Get ready for your knee swing on the left. Left leg only, straight leg up, bend, extend, and down. Straight leg up, bend, extend, straight leg down. Lots of mobility here, it feels good. Get ready to get on your recumbent bike. Right lead recumbent bike. You could go as fast as you want, but you gotta move those handles in a circle. Now reverse that circle. Get ready to fly like a butterfly. Butterfly, shoulder rotator, hip external rotation. Nice. Really moving through all those joints. This is definitely a feel good workout. You're gonna feel real good after this. Recumbent bike left lead with those circular handles. Make sure you move those arms in a circle to get that synovial fluid around that shoulder cavity. Now move it the other way keeping those, that shoulder joint lubricated. You're a clamshell, it's your butterfly. Nice. 
four more, and then we make circles on the pool floor with our jack circles. Okay, jack circles, you're making circles. They can be little, they can be big. But once you get four done, you gotta go the other way for four. So we move it in the other direction. Flutter kicks towards the right, little flutters up. Flutter kicks vertical. Flutter kicks to the left. The music is perfect for it. Jack circles, make a circle. This is tons of hip mobility here. Big move on the hips. Now the other way. Your arms just have to kind of do whatever they want to do while you're making those hip circles. Flutter kick up to the left. Little flutters. And then down. Other way, yes, and down. Now jack, cross, jack. Jack, cross, jack, together. Jack, cross, jack, together. Ending those feet together, make that next move, the crossover, a little easier to begin. Okay, right leg cross over the left. Cross it over and stay on that right leg six more times. Four more crossovers. And center, jack, cross, jack. Jack, cross, jack, together. Together. Nice, you're doing those crossovers on the left leg. Four more. Your next move is a cross country ski with a row. You're performing a cross country ski with a row. I actually spaced out there. I was supposed to do another 30 second joint interlude. We'll catch up with that one at the top of the next segment. Now this next move is big. And together you're doing jack ski right, jack ski left. Jack ski right, jack ski left. Side to side, front to back, side to side, front to back. Side to side, front to back. Now ski row. Ski and draw those shoulder blades back. That jack ski is a huge move on the hips for hip mobility. It feels good. Get ready to do that again. Jack ski left lead. Jack ski left, jack ski right. Side to side, front to back. Side to side, front to back. Jack ski left, Jack, ski right, two more, and then we go from the top. Wide straddle jogs, right lead, that left arm pulls across with that side arm sweep, playing a musical instrument here, getting into the performance. Get ready for your hip turnout on the right leg. Hip turnout on the right leg. It's up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Up. Out, in, and down. Wide straddle jog, left lead. That right arm is pulling across, grabbing that string out of the left arm. That left arm just stays extended out to the side. It's all the right arm. Get ready for that hip turnout on the left. Left leg, knee up, external rotation in all the way down. Nice. This feels so good on the hip. Two more. Last one, and then it's the wooden soldier right lead. Wooden soldier right lead. Full performance here. Okay, knee swing right. Extend. Bend, extend, and down. So again, it's straight leg up, bend, extend, straight leg down. Good muscle work, good joint work here. Wooden soldier left lead. Excellent. Moving that wooden soldier. 
Get ready for the modified knee swing on the left. Knee swing left. Left leg, straight leg up, bend, extend, straight leg down. Straight leg up, bend, extend, pull down. Good. One more and then you get to get on your favorite recumbent bike. Pedaling right lead with those circular handles. You can go as fast or as slow as you want with this. Now make those handles go in the other circular direction. Make like a clamshell, butterfly out those hips, butterfly at those shoulders, shoulder rotator, butterfly at the hips. Lots of mobility here, shoulder and hips, feels good. Back on the recumbent bike with those circular handles. Paddling along. Moving the handles in the other direction. Get ready to fly. You're a butterfly. Nice. External rotation hip, shoulder rotator. Get ready to do those jack circles. Straight leg jack circles. You're making circles on the pool floor with your legs. Your jacks are moving in a circular direction. Then you reverse that circular direction with your jumping jack legs. And then you enjoy that flutter kick up to the right, little flutters. Flutter kick back vertical. Flutter kick up to the left. Vertical. Jack circles, four, three, Two. Reverse that direction. Flutter kicks up to the left. And down. Other way. And down. Jack, cross, jack, cross, jack. Together, jack, cross, jack, together, jack, cross, jack, together. Right leg crosses over left, thrust that leg over, step across it. Great hip mobility here for that right leg. And center, jack, cross, jack, cross, Jack together. Try to switch that top leg every time. Try to cross your arms if you can to get that diagonal arm reach, variation A on the arms. Get ready for the left leg only. Left leg crossover. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Cross country ski with a row. You're rowing your arms while you perform a cross country ski. Scapular retraction, bring those elbows behind you while you perform that ski. Get ready for that huge jack ski movement. The ski will be on the right first. Jack ski. Jack ski right, jack ski left. Jack ski right, jack ski left. Side to side, front to back. Side to side, front to back. Two more, and then it's a ski. Just ski with a row. Ski with a row. Nice. Four more, and then we go back to that jack. I love that jack ski. That feels so good. Jack ski left lead. We go jack ski left. Jack ski right. Jack ski left. Jack ski right, so it's side to side, front to back, side to side, front to back. Two more, and then you're gonna tread water. Okay, you are treading water and you are performing wrist bends, up and down on the wrist bends. Up and down, it's here at this moment that I realized I forgot the other 30 second one in this segment. Performing wrist bends, and then you're performing wrist circles as you tread water, that feels good. Lots of mobility, the wrist is a joint. Gotta keep it mobile, wrist circles. 
And that closes the curtain on Act 2. You just exercised for 15 more minutes. Feel free to get a drink of water. Our next act features our last combination of movement and our final performance, the grand finale. I am expecting a flawless presentation of movement. The drum roll begins. The curtain is opening, and here we are for our last act. But first, we have to catch up with that 30-second joint interlude that I spaced out in the last segment because I got too carried away with my choreography. It's going to be for the knuckles and the fingers. Start treading water and perform big knuckle waves. You're moving at the big knuckle, performing knuckle waves as you tread water. And then for the fingers, as you tread water, you play the piano. You are a piano maestro. You play that piano. Get ready for your next combination, our last combination. Trunk rotation to the right. Bend your knees, rotate to the right, come center. You're not moving to the left. You're just moving with a trunk rotation towards the right. You could do just tucks if that rotation is too much on your spine. Now it's called a pull through. Tuck up, extend, in, all the way down. Let your arms kind of assist you here. A pull through. Tuck up, extend, in and down. Tuck up, extend. Now it's trunk rotation to the left. Bent knee like you're sitting in a chair, rotating your torso towards the left, but ending center. You're not moving to the right. And it's that pull through. Up, out, in and down. Up, out, in and down. Up, out. Oh boy, get ready, it's coming. The final performance, wide straddle jog with that left arm sweep, you wide straddle jogging. Your left arm is sweeping across to meet your right hand. This is it, the grand finale. Right leg, hip turn out, knee up, out, in, full pointed toes for your performance here. Two more. Last one. Wide straddle jog, left lead, right arm sweeps across to meet that left. Pulling a string out of that left palm as you pull it back. Get ready for your left leg only, that hip turn out. Left leg, hip turn out, up, out, in, and down, up, out, in, two more, and then it's our march to the wooden shoulder with a right lead. Right lead, wooden soldier, nice, moving those legs, marching down the parade route. You're doing thumbs to shoulders, moving at that elbow joint for that thumbs to shoulder. Get ready for the right leg only. Right leg only, straight leg. Bend, extend, and down. Doing whatever you want with your arms, but putting some performance in here. This is your modified knee swing. One more, and then it's the wooden soldier left lead. Wooden soldier left lead, marching, marching. Full performance in that parade. Get ready for that left leg knee swing. Left leg only, straight leg up, bend, extend, pull it down forcefully. Up, bend, extend. Lots of hip and knee mobility here. You're getting ready to get on your recumbent bike. Right leg pedals, you're on your both legs pedaling. Right lead, you've got those handles moving in a circle. And then you reverse those handles. And then you're going to become a butterfly. You've got that shoulder rotator with that hip external rotation, like a clamshell. Get ready to get back on your recumbent bike. Pedaling, starting with a left lead, pedaling that recumbent bike, moving those handles in circles. You can pretend you're almost like in fencing. And then you're going the other way and you're about to transform into a butterfly again. You're a butterfly. Good, shoulder rotator. 
hip external rotation in that diamond position. Your next move is going to be that helicopter move, those jack circles. Okay, jack circles like a helicopter. You're making circles on the pool floor, really getting mobility in your hips. But then you got to go the other way. That transition can be a little challenging. You got that flutter kick up to the right, full performance. Flutter kick back to vertical. Flutter kick to the left. Back to vertical, that will do more jack circles. Okay, jack circles, big or little, just make a circular motion from your hip. So you're getting lots of hip mobility. Now go the other way. You're really moving that synovial fluid around that joint cavity at the hip. Okay, now flutter kicks up to your left. Back to vertical. Up to your right. Back to vertical. Get ready for that jack cross. Here it is. Jack, cross, jack, center. Jack, cross, trying to switch your top leg each time. Jack, cross, trying to cross your arms even to get the mobility in the shoulders. Now right leg only crossover. Step over that left leg. Thrust that right leg over the left. Nice. Four more crossovers. Get ready to go back to a jack cross. Here it is. Jack, cross, jack, together. Jack, cross, jack, together. Nice. One more and then we do the crossovers on the left leg only. Left leg only. Nice. Stepping over that left leg. Get ready for your cross country ski. Ski and row. You're doing a cross country ski with the row. Like you're rowing a boat trying to retract, bring those elbows back. Retract that scapula where you're performing that cross country ski. And next is going to be our huge move. Get ready to bring your feet together. Feet together, jack ski. Jack ski right, jack ski left. Side to side, front to back. Side to side, front to back. Oh, I love this move. Feels so good. Cross country ski with a row. You're rowing the boat while performing a cross country ski. Four more and then we'll bring those feet together and do our jack ski. I'm gonna leave with the left. You don't have to do what I do. Now jack ski, jack ski left, jack ski right, jack ski left, jack ski right. Four more. And then we do that last core combination if you remember. Trunk rotation to the right. You're seating in a chair and you're performing a little twist to the right trunk rotation. Four more, and then we do that big pull through to activate a lot of core muscles and to activate your spine, which is also a joint. Okay, it's a pull through. Up, out, in, all the way down. Very important to keep mobility in that spine. Up, out, in, and down. Now trunk rotation to the left. You're seated in a chair doing rotation to the left, ending center. Trying to really nail that center landing and not going to the right. Get ready for more mobility at the spine with that pull through. Okay, that pull through, up, out, in and down. Up, out, in and down. Excellent. Our last 30 second joint interludes for the ankle. Extend your right leg in front of you and perform point and flex or try ankle circles. If you do circles, go the other way. Either one works. We got to keep mobility in that ankle joint. And then extend your left leg out and perform point and flex or do circles. Just trying to move that ankle. You got to keep that ankle moving and then go the other way if you did circles. And ta-da, that was a performance worthy of a bouquet of roses in a three-year contract. 
we are going to finish this deep water healthy joint adventure with some soothing, stretching, and relaxation. We have accomplished a total body tune-up and your body should that left leg over the right cradle it over come back to vertical you can move however you want here you got a very nice stretch on the hip on that left side hopefully you have some sunshine in your face we're just gonna rhythmically move maybe the fingers maybe the wrist Whatever you feel like doing, you can just do some rhythmic movement, a little bit of twisting for the torso, maybe. That feels good. And maybe just, this is your relaxation, just some deep breaths. Really, I'm putting my stomach on my, my hand on my stomach to really remind myself how to breathe big there. Big breaths, final relaxation. Oh, that feels so good. 
And that concludes Deep Revive. I hope that this video and the shallow water video I'm posting next week, Water Exercise for Arthritis, are helping to make you more aware of the importance of healthy supple joints. Life is short and you don't want to spend it in pain. I promise that if you do movement like this on a regular basis, it will help you move better, feel better, and live better. Thanks for being a subscriber.